tragedy that befell her. Here's the story. Zola Bud tried to cut in without, without having, um, without being basically ahead, and I think her foot caught me, and to avoid pushing her, I fell. I mean, when I think about it now, I should have pushed her, but if I had pushed her, tomorrow the headlines would have read, Decker shoved Zola, and, you know, it's, there wasn't anything I can do, and when I did fall, I tried to react and tried to get up, but when I tried to twist, that's when I felt my hip. That's when I felt, you know, the, the muscle problem. I don't think there's any question that she was in the wrong. And give it be that it's inexperience on her part, um, but she was not in front. You have to be at least a full stride ahead before you cut in on someone. And she was coming in around the turn, and she wasn't anywhere near passing. And I do hold her responsible for what happened, because I don't feel that I did anything wrong. As a matter of fact, I was running a good race, a good pace, and I felt really good, and I am fit. And hopefully the injury will heal in time so I can go over to Europe and race. And as for Zola Bud, as she's carried off there by her fiancé, Mr. Slains, from Great Britain, the discus thrower, that was Mary Decker, obviously, but I was starting to say before I noticed Mr. Slains there, that uh, as for Zola Bud, she was at first disqualified from seventh place where she finished, but later was reinstated in seventh place with no further explanation so far. So what a strange, unusual, wild, and really exciting night it has been here again in Los Angeles. A half an hour from now, our late night coverage with Jim Lampley and Donna Deverona. That'll be live coverage of the water polo game, the United States against Yugoslavia for the gold medal. Tomorrow we start at 11.30 a.m., 11.30 uh, Eastern Daylight.